sir? Uh, we, we ain't gonna say for the minute, but I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna make, where your, was you? make your day. I was, on my, I was on my way here. Uh, I have to pray like you. Hey, lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 it's in my road. Yes, he oh, is. Hey, yes, lady. He is. Oh, my God. I ain't got to fight your wife for you. Today. Nah, you ain't got to fight my wife. Let me come over here and give you a hug. Kenny, you hold this. Okay. Oh, Watch your hand, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm there sorry. you go. <laughs> I have never listened to it. It's <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you, uh -huh. you the shit. <laughs> I don't care nobody. You the shit. Yeah. I was like, can you, you got to bring him to the hospital. I told you. Oh, wow. uh, it, it took a minute. As busy as this man is, it took a minute. Get both of us in there, brother. Mary Schaefer, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got y'all in there. <laughs> her favorite poet. That's, that's right. Yes, it is. I sent your CD all down to my hometown. I said, "Eat shit, y'all." I don't forget my spoken word. Down ain't gonna find nobody like him. Right. One of a kind. I love that song with your niece. Oh, thank you. I love that. And uh, uh, the other one. Uh, I love the uh, hustle. I love the hustle. <laughs> there you go. I there played you go. in the car. My son. <laughs> so can you do me a favor? Go over there on that side. Shoot from this way. So let me do a piece for her real quick. Turn this, turn this down. Okay. Okay, I got you. Front and center, Ice. Okay. All right, y'all. Look, we alive here. Smelling all good too. Smelling all. She's smelling all good too. Yeah. So look, we wanted to surprise her. Me and my man Kenny G. Uh, hey. Chicago's very own. My yes. My man Rico, Al Greer. We love y'all also as well. But this is for you. Yes. All right. So. Um, this is National Women's Month too, y'all. So. Hello. Go Goddess of the universe. Mother Earth, you were the first. You were there from the beginning, from the cradle to the tomb, the womb that birthed me to life. Spiritually, my mother. My sister, my daughter, my rib, my wife. The most underappreciated creature of God in your praise is long overdue. Because see, before I was even conscious of a God, I knew mother. See, mama, I knew you. Black queen, I was there when you ruled Egypt from a golden throne. You took the cradle of civilization and you made it your home. Black queen, I was there when you stood by King Solomon's side as all of Jerusalem kneeled at his feet. He had a whole nation in the palms of his hands, but without Queen Sheba? See, Sister Mary, King Solomon was incomplete. Black queen, I was there when the angel Gabriel came to you and told you that you're going to have a son. Blessed is Mary, mother among all mothers, from your womb is where we got our savior from. Y'all got us through 400 years of slavery and 100 years of segregation. And you're such a blessing because when you teach a man, you teach an individual. But when you teach a woman, you teach a nation. And you're so amazing that in the 50s, y'all organized us. In the 60s, y'all went to jail for the cause. In the 70s, y'all had... White women wearing afros, and in the 80s, you became head of the household because the black man had flaws. And Mary, despite it all, even in the worst situations, y'all were able to make it better. See, my dear had to cook and clean and scrub floors and be a nanny for white folks, but still came home and raised five children by herself, but somehow managed to keep the family together. You remember when Big Mama was our doctor? When she was our counselor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could cook a meal without a recipe and tell you what it was missing by taking one little taste. And could discipline you with the switch from the nearest tree. And if you were ashy, <laughs> she would take that one thumb and a little bit of spit and wipe that dry spot right off of your face. But something has happened to my Eve. Somebody's been whispering in my ear and telling her the sex sells, so they disrobe. Physically and morally exposed and on BET and all the video shows. Now, Black Queen, they look at some, some of y'all as just another freak show. But despite all the rough edges and beneath all the rubble, I'm still convinced by your touch. That if they said one woman turned this world upside down, then Sister Mary, a woman, can turn it right side up. Look at Oprah Winfrey. A self-made billionaire. Harpo had the morning slot on lock. And the other networks were so scared that they refused to put a decent program on at 9 o'clock. Look at Venus and Serena. They so bad that they stampeded over the competition like rhinos. And almost every year they were the last two left. And one sister ended up playing the other sister in the finals. 
And me and Kenny G is here today giving you prayers of complete healing. And I know it's possible because we believe in the maker. There's nobody more beautiful than you right now, sister. This is our sister, Mary Shea. Yes, it is. It's a baby girl. This is Black Ice giving you the presentation of the Black Queen's biography. Yes. I love you for your Afrocentricity. And I love you for your spirituality. For you, Black Queen, I'm a hug. All right. Oh. Thank you, Thank you. Oh. Thank you. 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 Cause they uh, just they came in here. The cardiologist came in and said, uh, "You know, for me having all the surgeries, mm -hmm. they were weak in my heart. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now I got to get fitted for what's called a life vest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a defibrillator in it and everything. Right. To what you call it, my heart to like shock it sometimes. Uh, yeah. okay. But you know what? We gonna get past this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pray for complete healing." And if we got to make an adjustment, you know, a life adjustment, that's what we got to do. But you got more life to live. Yes. Your testimony, what you're going through right now, your test is going to be a powerful testimony. And you're going to be able to share this with somebody that's going to help them. Yeah. So I know that you got to be the sacrificial lamb. You got to be the one cut on. You got to be the one this and that. You got to be the sacrificial lamb. But it's it's going to save so many other people. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. You gonna be it's all right, like baby girl. And we love you. Yeah. The song you did with your niece, what was so touching about it was when you talked about your son. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had a daughter. She died when she was seven years old. Mm -hmm. She got the chicken pox. Wow. Back in 1988, and it killed her. They yeah. was working on the, the vaccine, and it was just. And the, and a piece she's talking about is called ego. Okay. And it's about my son who passed away from cancer. It's called easing God out. I was upset with God, mad at God, and I was questioning him. And that's what the poem is about. But it was also about how God spoke to me and how he was saying that, hey, I'm doing these things in your life for you to get closer to me, number one, and then for me to use you to go out there and do my work. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh baby, you know I told you, I told you I was coming. I told you I was coming. He said he was gonna get you. Come around this second. Okay, I told yeah. you I was coming. Yeah. One way or another, I had to, this man just got back out of from out of town traveling. I said, look, guys, we gotta go see my baby girl. Been out of town where? Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Just got back. He just got back. So. At uh, Disney World. No, this was Fort Myers. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, but we in a uh, no, yeah, we in a hurry. He's got somewhere to be. I gotta get ready for my radio show tomorrow. I got a talk show that's gonna be on Facebook tomorrow, so you can oh, see me live. At what time? Uh, five o'clock, and I'm parked down.